Dispatch reporting a speeder in the parking lot. Roger that dispatch, we'll take that call over. So, usually speeders in this parking lot are just a little bit exaggerated, but uh, we'll go ahead and we'll see what's going on down here. Holy. Yeah, we're gonna light them up. We're gonna light them up, all right. These speeders, man, they get pretty bad sometimes out here. Dispatch, show me on site with the suspected speeder. All right, let's go ahead and get out and take a look. Uh, hello, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Um, yeah, I have the... no idea where he went. He just did. Like, as soon as he saw those lights, he was gone. He's gone. He's gone. Welcome to the Ravens Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Gus. And I'm Josh. It's Tuesday, February 25th. Today's No Cheat Trivia question is, the PGA Tour was considered Caucasian only until which golfer joined? The Lady Ravens clinched the IMC girls basketball title this past week and stayed undefeated in IMC league play with wins over the Dows and Crick County. The girls wrap up their regular season on the long road to Pendleton and then on OSAA home playoff game awaits the Ravens on March 6th with the opponent yet to be named. The boys basketball season team concludes their season tonight right here at Ridgeview. They play the Buckaroos at seven. Come support senior Kevin Edmondson in his final game and have the boys end on a strong note heading into the off season. Our Ravens qualified nine wrestlers from the regional tournament for next week's state tournament. We have two regional champions in Logan Shank and Cole Jackson. Runners up were Austin That's Anderson, Zach Anderson, and Ethan That's Reed. Also qualifying for state were Carlos Corrales Bazan, Carson Woods, Daniel Jaramillo, and Joe Martin. Other place winners were Elijah Hawker, Jaden Bocanegra, Elijah Allen, and Owen Lee. Altogether, 13 of the 15 wrestlers that entered the tournament placed. Good job, Ravens. The Little Mermaid set new records every showing this weekend, breaking single performance attendance records again and again, and topping the total attendance of any previous show. Huge congratulations to the cast, crew, band, and of course, Mr. Capson, Mr. Stevens, and Mrs. Moore. Great job. Attention Ridgeview Cross Country Runners. Let's get together for a team meeting at lunchtime this Thursday, February 27th, in Miss Melissa Stolaz's classroom. We'll provide snacks and cookies. Please bring the rest of your lunch. This meeting is for anyone who ran cross country last year or anyone thinking of running cross country. Bring a friend. Fly Fishing Club will meet every Wednesday and Friday during lunch in Mr. Shotwell's room, Wednesday. The guided fly will be the beadhead pheasant tail and Friday is free tie Friday. Nice. Last open gym will be this Wednesday, 315 to 445 on the varsity field. Canceled Saturday open gym. Tryouts are Monday at 3 on the varsity field, and we have a roster room for more players. So please come try out, even if you have not been to open gyms. Get registered on Family ID as well. There's a scholarship workshop this Wednesday in the Career Center. Sign up with Randy Davis to get help finding and completing scholarship applications. Any AP students, if you haven't paid for your test, please make sure you do so. Time is running out. Spring sports registration is happening now. FamilyID.com must be completed no later than February 24th to be cleared for practice tryouts, which start on March 2nd. That's it for today. The answer to today's No Cheat Trivia question is, Charlie Sifford joined the PGA in 1961 and was later the first Amer African American to be inducted into the Golf Hall of Fame. Tiger Woods named his son Charlie after him. As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash Ridgeview Ravens. I'm Josh. And I'm Gus. Have an epic day and stay classy, Ridgeview.